Hey guys, what's up? Thank you so much for tuning in to this part three acne journey. <laughs> button and notifications bell like comment and share and let's get into the video um and by the part two that you saw i just uploaded it today like right now um but you won't be seeing this until much later it's uploaded so make sure to go watch that before you watch this one so you're kind of up to date with all the information and um like update on my acne and stuff like that so tomorrow i have my um blood work my second blood work i did black out last time but i'm more prepared now like i know what it feels like i'm gonna be not so dehydrated i'm gonna eat something tonight but then i have to fast overnight and in the morning and then next week on thursday i'm also going to be filming me going to the dermatologist and it's already been one month on accutane and this is what my acne is looking like i'll input some pictures on the screen of what i took um like during the first month it has gotten worse it hasn't gotten better and if you have not go ahead and check out my room like makeover and tour video i'll link it down in the description box and also go ahead and check out my etsy um shop i'll also link that down in the description and i'll link part one and two acne journey down in the description too so let's get into the video it's what time is it right now it's 10 21 right now p.m i have my like thingy at like the the blood thingy at eight o'clock so we're gonna leave here at 7 30 so i'm gonna wake up at 7 a.m so i'm gonna go to bed soon maybe like 11 11 30 so in half hour or, or hour so i'm gonna go to bed um i'll update you in the morning how i'm feeling and stuff i've been having a lot of nosebleeds my face has been so dry my scalp has been dry everything is like drying up um but i'll see you in the morning hey guys what's up so it is the same day but it is much much later and it's at night and a little update for you is i did not end up passing out i actually was very well this time i think it was because um i ate the night before i was nice and hydrated and i um wasn't looking and i was laying down um as you can see here there is a bruise left from the um uh like needle going in me but it doesn't hurt at all i'm all good hey guys so it's officially next week and i'm kind of whispering because i went to sleep in my house but tomorrow is the 22nd and i have my dermatologist meeting at 9 15 a.m so i am gonna be mis missing my first period class that's okay i told my teacher um so this is kind of what my face looks like and i'm gonna be explaining some of the symptoms that i've been having um, I might have talked to you about them before, but, um, bleeding nose, a lot of them, really dry face, my lips are super dry, they have, like, a plastic seal over them, that's how they bad they are, my acne is getting much, much worse, and everything is coming up, um, so I don't know if that's supposed to be happening, but I'll for sure ask my dermatologist. My back pain has escalated a lot. It has gotten much, much, much worse. And I I don't know if I could handle this for six months. So I'm going to tell him and see what he um says. I will bring you along with me um for the drive and that stuff. Um, But yeah, I'm going to get ready for bed and then I'll see you in the morning when I'm going. Um, but yeah. And also, I wanted to kind of do a little early celebration, but tomorrow is going to be one month on Accutane. Oh, thank God. Just five more months to go, but I'll see you guys in the morning. Hey, so it is the next morning, and um, I just woke up. I changed, but my face is, um, that's what it looks like. It looks much more calmer, um in the morning than it does during the day but then also just does not look calm at the same time so yeah my lips woke up like like i don't know if you could tell but like literally it gets like a layer of plastic over my lips and it, like it hurts so vaseline is my best friend right now i applied some all over my face because yeah um i'm almost done my water i'm gonna get a water bottle i've been drinking a lot of water um 
just you know to keep me healthy um it's time for us to go so i'm gonna go get in the car and yeah so we just um got here at the dermatologist meeting we're like just gonna make it because we kind of left a little late um but i'm gonna tell him about my back pain and see what he says and then i'll update you guys when i'm out hey y'all what's up so it is much after the dermatologist meeting and now i'm just gonna kind of like sit down with you and kind of talk about what's happening um what's gonna be happening over the next five months that i'm on it so the first thing I want to talk about is the back pain because that was really scaring me the most. And basically what he said is that only 10% of people get it when they're on this drug. And I am one of those 10% people. Um, but he just said take some Advil or Tylenol and it will like help it. And if it doesn't, then he um, will con or we will contact him and he'll have to take me off of the 40 gram that he's giving me now before it was 20 gram and we're gonna have to go back to 20 gram for a longer period of time so i'm hope hoping hoping that the advil does work so then after the six months i can just be done with this and i can get it over with and i'll have beautiful perfect skin so like I said before, he did up my dose instead of 20 grams. I need to be keep on doing my blood work every month because um, he just wants to make sure that I am not, like nothing's changing my body. He said that nothing changed the first time, but he just wants to make sure and make sure that I'm healthy. But I will be seeing him for a while. The next time that I'm going to be seeing him is in five months. And that is September 23rd at 9.30 a.m. And the next time I'm going to be seeing him. So hopefully when I'm going to be seeing him, I'll have nice and clear acne. My dumbass here sitting and editing nice and clear acne. Wait, the book. Sorry, I meant skin. <laughs> and um, I will actually be in grade 10 then. So it, it will actually be after summer the next time I see him. Anyways, but he make he also told me that I really need to make sure when I go out into the sun in the summer, because the summer is coming up, um, that I really need to be applying sunscreen and when I can be wearing a hat. And just like on my face, he just he said not it's not so much on like my body, just like on my face. You noticed before, but I used to have a whole bunch of little bumps on my face and my forehead. Oh my god, you guys see that? Oh my, that's really bad. That's really bad, guys. You know, that's really, really bad. Anyway, but I'm super happy. Today is one month on Accutane. I have survived it. And I will keep up with these acne journeys part one and stuff when I'm still not going to the dermatologist. I'll keep on updating you guys, taking you to the blood work. They might not be as often, but I will for sure keep on uploading them when there's enough content to be put out. So much, guys. If you have been here from part one, thank you so much for staying along with me through this journey. Um, it means a lot because... You know, this acne puts a toll on me. I know I'm not going anywhere, but, like, just, like, imagine having dry lips for six months. Like, having your face like this. Like, you know, wanting to fix it, but not seeing results until the last month. Because that's what's going to happen. I won't see results until the last month. Unfortunately, that's just how it works. Um, But, yeah. Like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you in my next video. <laughs>